this is let's bring this back around to people like Anthony Fontano. And I, I don't think it's a personal problem with him. I think it's just the way that kind of people like to have like uh, put people on a pedestal. The fact that his opinion is somehow worth more than someone else on the street, I guess it's, it's a product of him working hard on his channel. That's all great. But actually, I think we should move towards a world where we don't have these kind of taste makers and people who have these opinions. That's why mm. I really, I mean, I personally try to avoid that kind of thing on my channel because I will frankly say if I hate something, but I, you know, I want to specify, like, I'm just some, who the hell am I? Like, who, like, seriously, who is Anthony Fantano? Like, he's an entertainer. He gets tons of views because he's entertaining. He knows a bit about music, great, but like, he's not a musician, which doesn't preclude him from having an opinion or from being able to productively talk about it. But he's just some bloke. Like, you're just some bloke. I'm just some bloke. We're all just some bloke. And there's nothing inherent about why his opinion should really partic particularly oh. impact our listening skills. I think we should... Um, I, th I, I don't know. I kind of wish we were in a world where we could get beyond that a little bit and actually... <laughs> 